Hey, good evening. It's uh, Tuesday, October 15th, and welcome back to Everyday Talk 24-7. Got something personal to talk about tonight. I think impacts all of us. When God shatters your dreams. And it's important that we understand it just that directly. Our broken dreams, our lost hopes, our sense of being totally lost, it's not random. God is a part of that. And because he's a part of it, he's also the way out. But let's give the Bible credit. The Bible doesn't blame everybody else for the problems that happens. God demonstrates us to us through his word that even our dreams that are shattered, he's there. But he's also the solution. We'll talk about a familiar story to illustrate this. And it starts with a young man, a 13-year-old, having a dream. And it was a good dream. It was a dream about leading his family to do the things of God. But instead of his brothers being excited about his dream, they were shattered by it. They were angry with it. So much so that their hatred grew over the next four years that all they could think of do, to do was to kill this young man. So his dreams of wanting to serve God, of wanting to make things work out well, even though they included his family honoring him and bowing down to him, his dad seeming to appreciate him by giving him a, a beautifully ornated special coat. They all came crashing down one day when his brothers took him off on the pretense of going out in the, in the wilderness to kill him because they were so angry with him, so disgusted with him and his dream. And of course, a debate ar arises, and one brother says, no, let's not kill him. Let's just sell him as a slave. So they do. They sell him as a slave. And they send him off to a foreign country, to Egypt. But still the young man, he doesn't lose it all. He's lost his family. He's lost his dream. He's lost everything he knows, and now he's in, being treated horribly. He still responds well and gets placed at a place of position of authority. He's even tempted with immorality, and he says no. And once again, he's slapped down. He is thrown in prison, falsely accused. And then over the next number of years, he's... 17 is the, is the age when he is taken off to Europe, uh, off to Egypt. And then when he's between there and 30s, when he sees the king, he's pretty much abandoned. 13 years of being shattered. Because even when he's in prison, he does the right thing. He's faithful. He's honorable. And what does it get him? He gets betrayed again and again. God is the one doing this. And this young man, Joseph, never wavers from that. He never misses that. But he's been treated horribly. He's in this foreign country. Now he's in prison. Talk about just every good thing he's done literally shattered before him. All of his hopes are gone. Who on earth is ever going to pay attention to him in prison after 13 years? He's nowhere. He's been honorable and what has it gotten him? Prison. 
No family. No children of his own. No wife. Cut off from his dad, Jacob. Cut off from his brothers. Cut off from the way of life that he knew. Cut off from the religion that he knew. And he's alone. Thirteen years. No one seemed to care. No one seemed to have any perception of who this young man from a foreign country named Joseph was. And then, when he's 30 years old, this shocking turn of events happens where the dreamers, the musicians, the people who knew everything, the priests, could not interpret a dream of the king of Pharaoh. Finally, one of the men that was in prison with him remembers, wait a minute, I know somebody that can answer dreams. And so they send for Joseph. And Joseph was before the king, and he said, can you do this? I can't do it, but my God can. After 13 years, he's still faithful. 13 years of shattered dreams that God shattered, and he knew that God did it. But God had a purpose in it. Because of Joseph's actions, the family, Egypt now becomes a place where food could be attained, his brothers come to find food for the family. And Joseph hides himself from them, but then he finally reveals himself to them. And we hear his picture, his story of his shattered dreams. In Genesis chapter 45, we read this. Then Joseph could no longer control himself before all of his attendants. And he cried out, Have everyone leave my presence. So there was no one with Joseph when he made himself known to his brothers. And he wept so loudly the Egyptians heard him, and Pharaoh's household heard about it. Then he says to his brothers, I am Joseph. Is my father still living? But his brothers were not able to answer him because they were terrified at his presence. Why? <laughs> because they sold him to slaves didn't care anything about him. And listen to what Joseph said, his response to his shattered dream. Then Joseph said to his brothers, Come close to me. When they had done so, he said, I am your brother Joseph, the one you sold into Egypt. And now, do not be distressed, do not be angry with yourselves for selling me here, because it was to save lives that God sent me ahead of you. For two years now there has been no there's been famine in the land. In the next five years there will be more famine. But God sent me ahead of you to preserve you, a remnant on earth, and to save your lives by a great deliverance. So then it was not you who sent me here, but God. God shattered his dream. But brothers and sisters, God will not abandon us. Joseph had 13 years. Maybe some of you have waited longer, so maybe some of you have left less, and you feel like God has walked away from you and not cared for you and has left you with no hope, just like J Joseph in prison appeared to have no hope. But through all of it, God had a plan, and Joseph acknowledges it this. It was God who sent me here. God shattered my dream. Brothers and sisters, if God has shattered your dreams, he has something more beautiful for you. I don't know what that is, but I know he does because he's faithful. Remember the story of Joseph. Remember the story of dreams that are shattered, shattered by God. Not by circumstances, not by people. They may have played a role in it, but this is God doing it. If you're hurting in despair right now, if all of your dreams seem to have just, poof, gone away, think of Joseph. And know that God shatters dreams. Because he loves us and cares for us. 
and has things in store for us that we can't begin to imagine. Let me know your thoughts and feedback on this. Love, I know a lot of you are hurting. I'd love to hear from you. Again, thank you for the privilege of being with you each day, and uh, Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. You have a great night. Bye-bye.